Good morning today. Uh, good morning everyone. Today is April 1st, 2021. It's right at about 11.48 p.m. Uh, a.m. And it's 78 degrees out. How's everyone doing today on the net? It is absolutely gorgeous out here in Hilo. The sun's just just barely peeking out. All right now I am heading. It's been a while since I've done this walk. Right now I'm heading downtown. It's about a three mile walk. And I swear every time, every time I, every time I stay, every time I stay in, like every time I stay, stay at home until until it's time for me to go to work and then I know I'm gonna have to be at work until it's basically until it's dark out until it's evening every time I do that I, I always regret it when I when I step outside and it happens to be a really nice day a lot of times it, a lot of times it rains quite often here so it's so it's not all the time that I step out that I step outside and it's a, and it's a really nice day you can see you can see there's rain clouds just over here. You can see there's some rain clouds. You know, it's not, it's not. It's not all the time that, that I step out and it's a really nice day, but whenever, on the days that I step out and it happens to be really nice, I'm always like, I'm always like, damn, should have gone to should have should have got up early and 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 gone for a swim or something right now right now where i live happens to be about about 3 miles from the coast i actually really need to prioritize finding a place that is close that's close to downtown and close to the coast Right now we're walking past Waikia Elementary School. You can see there's some school buses. There's some cars. And my understanding is that as much as, it, my understanding is that the teachers here are preparing to to re to reintegrate back to back to in person back to in person teaching but for the time being just about everyone is still remote except that except that for for any of the kids that for any of the kids that are struggling that are struggling working remote, at least at this school in particular, at least at this school in particular, any of the kids who are, who are struggling working remote, they, they pretty much arranged for them to be able to come in and, and get, and get extra help, which is good because At that age, at elementary school age, you really have to be, I mean, I mean, in terms of, in terms of managing your own schoolwork and everything, that's quite a feat. So, 
if you if you have parents if you have parents say who work too many hours who you know parents who are not able to keep on top of you and and tell you you know every five minutes hey have you checked in have you checked in have you logged this assignment what about this one you know then chances are you're gonna probably just be watching cartoons <laughs> Playing video games? I don't even think kids watch cartoons anymore. Playing video games? I feel like... I feel like everyone's kids probably on... On Fortnite now. I'm trying to think some of the other ones. Fortnite, Minecraft... But, but yeah, I've got to start, I've got to start looking, I've got to start looking for, for housing in the downtown area, and I think once I'm settled downtown, I'll, I'll definitely be more prone to uh, <coughs> to hitting up to hitting up the to hitting up the coast and hitting up the beaches before before work and getting some footage for you guys. It's, a, it's just, it's just a little bit humid. I think the, I think the temperatures for this week compared to last week and the weeks prior are up just a little bit. It is April. I have been, I have been notified that, <clears throat> that the weather is due to warm up. Which is something I was a little bit surprised about. I mean, I guess I should have known. Well, actually, you know what? I did look it up. But I just didn't know. I did look it up. I just didn't know exactly when it would take place. I knew, I knew that the, the average temps kind of... I think there's maybe like a 10 degree window for the highs. I think the highs are on the low end, 75, 75 degrees. And on the high end, the, the highs are around 85 degrees, which would not be too uncomfortable, except that it's very, it's, it's, it's like particularly humid. It's particularly humid. Uh, uh, I'd say just about every day. But so far in the winter months, since it since it doesn't since it hasn't really gotten that hot. the humidity really doesn't is not too noticeable it's not doesn't really make it too uncomfortable but yeah i noticed the that the highs for this week are around maybe 70 77 or 78 degrees for this next week 
when pretty much throughout the whole winter the highs would be around 75 degrees so for, so most of the time it was between maybe between 66 and 75 degrees at any given point all right so now we're turning down we're turning down Kina Ole Street looks like traffic is backed up I never see this I've been seeing it more lately but I don't know if there's if there's more construction happening or if more people are having to report back into work or or what. I assume I assume it's I assume it's roughly normal though. I assume most people here do not work remote. I say that because on the Big Island there aren't too many large companies. And so I think a lot of the jobs are like service industry jobs like working at a hospital or 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 working at a restaurant or a store or doing landscaping or all all, all kinds of stuff, you know, teaching stuff that requires you to more or less requires you to be present. But yeah, today is April 1st, so happy April Fool's Day. I actually have a, a younger brother born today, so I'll have to wish him, wish him a happy birthday. I believe when you're born on April Fool's Day, then you are an April Fool. Huh. At first it looks like someone's got some chicken in their in their backyard. Oh, I think I see what happened. It looks like the chicken flew over, flew over the coop, like flew over the gate where, where the other chickens are. Where the rest of the chickens are living. And it's on the outside, just kind of chilling. I've seen some papaya, some papaya trees.
very common. All different kinds of papaya trees are common out here. Some school buses. Papayas here. So, until someone tells me otherwise, what I've noticed here is that the trees that bear fruit seem to perpetually bear fruit so they they don't it doesn't it seems like they're always in season that's that's what I've that's what I've noticed so if you have an orange tree or a tangerine tree or a star fruit tree you'll notice you'll notice the fruits grow grow in mature you can pick them off you can pick them off you can pick them all off clean and more more new fruits will just will just keep growing behind it I think this I think this is an all-year-round sort of deal There are a lot of plots of land out here that are just like this. I don't know what it's called when a plot of land is undeveloped. Oh, undeveloped. Undeveloped. A lot of people come out here and to the big island and I believe you can buy land. Just undeveloped plots of land for relatively cheap. You know, like maybe, maybe 10 or 20 grand. And just build whatever you want. See, there's some candidacy signs out here. Tante Urban for Mayor. What I noticed when I first came out here is that there were some politicians that have signs up all in English. You know, like, vote for Vote for Bill Murray for mayor, or something like that. But... And there's some really... And there's some really hardcore... Hardcore, true... Pure-blood Hawaiians. Hawaiian politicians who... They're... The signs, the signs that they have up are not even in English at all. They're, they're just in Hawaiian. So. Either you know, either you know Hawaiian or you don't. One of the, one of the things that, one of the things that struck me out here was the diversity of the plants out here. I assumed it was going to be like, kind of like, kind of like. I don't want to say exclusively palm trees, but 
maybe trees that were just sort of exclusively native to Hawaii. But you see there's some, there's some like pine trees. There are a lot of pine trees out here and like other kinds of trees that are, that are I think pretty native to 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 the mainland even though there are of course a, a lot of palm trees here some solar paneling here some solar paneling there Solar paneling is pretty common. Most people don't use solar, but a lot of people do, like a significant amount, like maybe I feel like maybe 10 or 15% of the buildings that I see out here have solar paneling. It'll be something once, honestly, it'll be something once, once solar paneling and, and solar energy just becomes just becomes a much cheaper technology. Boom, there's more solar solar paneling. That's that's I think that's that's all that really needs to happen is the price on the technology. The price on the technology just needs to come down. There's more solar paneling.